Hello, I'm interested, and welcome back to Prison Architect. What are we doing today? We want to switch around the daily regime. So let's have a look at this. Uh, for the moment, we're going to ignore Maxec and everyone else. It's just normal security we're going to do at the moment. When we're done with the normal sort of gen pop, then we'll sort everyone else. So gen pop, sleep for seven hours. That seems fine by me. Um, shower in the morning, good. Eat in the morning, good. This. We can sort out eating here. Hmm. This is my my kind of issue at the moment. It's a long time between early morning eating and late eating. People do get annoyed in between about being hungry. Uh, I could change this, but then people would still have a large gap oh, while they're sleeping. That said, I do think people get annoyed, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have. Eating there, and yard time afterwards. And then I'm going to temporarily switch this to all three time. Then, after they get an hour of free time, maybe, maybe two hours in the morning, three hours of work, followed by an hour of free time, which is like their lunch break. Oh, God, no, I didn't mean to do that. No, stop it. Stop it. No min security. I don't want you to have anything different. Work. There we go. And that should mean we should get, like, a load of stuff. Yeah, we should get six hours of work out of them. And that should be pretty good. Now, for max sec... I have no idea I've got three hours of eating. But anyway... Uh, <laughs> I have seriously no idea what that is. They're shifted two hours, which should mean we'll be fine. Uh, I'm just going to switch them all to three time. Two hours of eating there. This should be eating here, and that should be yard time there. Sorry, yard time should be there. Sleeping should be there. There we go. Now, for max second mates, do I want them working so much? Um, I don't mind. The issue would be I might get some crossover with normal gen pop work. Would that be terrible? Arguably not. So yeah, let's put them on the same. The second slot for working is working for the entire, um, like, prison. Everyone in the prison who isn't protective custody will work in the second slot. That means their eating time needs to be extended, and we can maybe force them to have yard time just before work, or force them to have yard time somewhere else. Yeah, force them to have yard time there, so that there aren't as much crossover, like uh, gen pop should be, you know, a little bit more restricted. Protective custody, on the other hand. Let's figure protective custody out. So, protective custody. The default, let's just fill it with default for the moment is locked down all the time. I'm sorry, protective custody. I mean, it's, it's just the way it has to be. There we go. I'd like to be able to see max sec, normal sec, and protective custody at the same time, but... Uh, what I'm going to do is put them on sleeping during the day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hours of sleeping. We get them working during the night. Four-hour block of work. Seems reasonable to me. Um, whenever anyone else is out, they need to be on lockdown, especially when max sec are out. And max sec start at 6 a.m. So after 6 a.m., that has to be locked down. However, I could allow them some free time here. Lock up here. Sleeping. It doesn't give them a lot of free time. Maybe I have to give them just three hours of work. Yeah, let's do that. And that gives us no buffer time with normal sec. Normal sec going... Yeah. That's iffy. That is very iffy. And doesn't give them any yard time. What if we build them like their own dedicated yard? That's fairly cheap to do. 
And if we put their yard there, they could be in a separate yard. Yeah, that works. Uh, I mean, only, it only does give them three hours of work time. We'll see. I mean, we might need not need a three-hour work time slot. So we'll see. Um, but I feel this is good. It does give them a lot of time in lockup. But it's okay. Now, eating. The most important part of the day. Uh, they want to eat. Can we force them to have shower time? They might leave their cells to go shower because... Yeah, if, if we just leave them a shower in the cell, they'll shower when they want to. Um, so, yeah, let's just switch that back. Eating. Immediately you get up, eat. And then... We could have them eating three times a day, almost. Okay, we'll have them eat here. And we'll have them eat... Here... I'll put them on lockdown. There and there. Okay, so they do eat at 5 a.m. and 7 p.m. Mm, let's make that a little bit further apart. That might cross over with someone. It might cross over with, like, Max Sec or someone. Wait, might Max Sec cross over with their eating times? They shouldn't cross over their eating times. There should be no crossover of eating times. Uh, I've screwed this up somehow. Yard. Eating. There we go. Because there shouldn't be any crossover of the eating times. That would result in a lot of uh, difficulties. Because canteens normally people kick off. I know, currently this is like spreadsheet simulator right now. This is very important work. Uh, uh, 5 a.m. and 5 p.m. Seems reasonable to me. That has no crossover. Okay, that seems reasonable. It's a lot of lockup for protective custody inmates, but it's the way it has to be. Right, let's sort out our programs now. So let us, um, do we want to put the carpentry apprenticeship down? Yeah, I'd like to put a carpentry apprenticeship down. Behavioral therapy, there isn't a place to do that currently, but there will be, there will be. General education qualification, no one's interested. Um, was someone interested in the carp carpentry? No, no one's interested in that, so let's stop that. Okay, let's edit the schedule. Parole hearings throughout the day, that's fine. Spiritual guidance, uh, we'll have two of those and we'll put them in separate slots. Just to make sure we don't bottleneck up in the uh, church. Right, so this is normal inmates. This is max second inmates. And this here is joint. That's a very important point. Foundation education should be for everyone. Or should that be in separate slots? I think if we put the... Pharmacological treatment in the slot for everyone, so that everyone can get pharmacological treatment. Um, or maybe we could have like two separate ones, one for Matt's sec, one for... I think two separate uses of pharmacological treatment, just so we can get more people through. It's expensive, but it's got really good results on decreasing drug use, unlike real life. Um, kitchen safety, workshop safety, if we do that, then we want one for Matt's sec inmates, as opposed to a shared one. Foundation education, I want to be able to have that shared, because, you know... And the more people I can get through, the better. But I don't think I've got a lot of people going through it. So sharing, that's okay. Do I want to even let MaxSec into workshop safety and kitchen safety? That, that gives them access to knives. I really don't think I do. I actually think this would be a very bad idea. We also have this one to populate up here as well. So we'll deal with that in a second. Um... Kitchen safety, workshop safety, workshop safety, kitchen... Oh. I mean, the argument is they could get hold of them anyway. But yeah, I'm actually going to remove these. I'm only going to have one slot. So, farm local treatment. I want two of these. Um, foundation education. Fine. Let's get rid of the early kitchen hygiene safety. And get rid of the early carpentry one. For the moment. We might introduce them later, but for the moment we'll get rid of them. Now, for protective custody, I would like to run them their own... Um, what's it called? Class. What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Foundation Education Program. Start. Edit Schedule. 
Foundation education. Yep, I would like to move you up to here. And that way we should have workshop safety, kitchen safety. Have them at different times. So people can participate in both. Except that's just that they can work during their working hours. Once they've trained, they work there in the working hours. So they can't work at both places at once. So it's fine to put them through one. Okay. Uh, alcoholic group. I could have this here. I could have one for each. Let's see what the needs are. If the, if the needs are high enough, I will put multiple alcoholics on. Um, but I feel this is a good regime. There's a lot of people waiting to do taser certifications, so I'm going to put two taser certifications down. Um, what's the need for alcoholic? Six in queue, that's fine. And guard taser certification. 5 a.m. and... Was there another one? There were two, weren't they? I thought there were two taser certifications. Three and five. 3 a.m. to 4 a.m., 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. Okay, it's just not appearing. It's underneath the Foundation Education Program. So maybe if I turn it off and start another one. There we go. It's finally appeared. Let's put it before and after the Foundation Education, just so that as they're going in, the guards are going out. It's a good way to protect them, I think. Right. That should be a good way to get this whole party started. And we will need to put a second parole thing in. Um... Now, I do want to move the workshop as well. I want to move the workshop from here to here. That way I've got a much bigger workshop. So I'm going to rooms, objects, dismantle, that, that, that. And we'll also remove the... I want to build these guys their own little um, yard. Which isn't that expensive, right? Because all I'm going to do is I'm going to put like a... Fence in. Actually, let's not put it there. Let's put it here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll put a door in. And then that'll be protective custody only. We'll put some, like, yard stuff in there. Material, brick wall. And we'll move the workshop over during the night. Right, let's see if this works. We should, in theory, have enough to be able to feed everyone. So let's check. Also, I totally want to actually allow people to work in here. There we go. Logistics, food distribution. Demand is 101. Supply is way, way short. Okay, uh, staff. Cooks. Six cooks? Oh, hell no. It should be a cook for every, like, um, 12 people. So say we've got, you know, 120. That means we need 10 cooks. I can't afford another cook. I'm going to have to make do for now. Jesus Christ, they're getting so far. Everybody get in here. We're gonna... Search this. Yes! Take that! We found you out, mate. We found you out. That is how it's done. Booyah. Mother trucker. Sorry, I've been looking for that for so long. Okay, utilities, logistics, food distribution. Right, how are we doing? We've got the food, it's just not been taken out yet. I guess it's still cooking or something. The demand is pretty high. We're just not supplying it. We're not using all the cookers either because we've actually got enough cookers. Plenty, more than we need. 
Alright, it's kicking off somewhere. I'm sure the guards can handle it. Right. Now, Maxsec have missed quite a few meals, but Gen Pop now get their meals. It's gonna be tight. I don't know if we're gonna be able to provide enough. I mean, I could take a loan out to hire more chefs, but uh, mm, I don't think we need to go that far. It'll be sorted by tomorrow when we can afford more. There we go. Staff. I just got an early release bonus. Yeah, that's fine. And we'll go back to logistics. And we should see people bringing food out soon. There we go. We've got 40 food sitting to be taken out. 38 food sitting to be taken out. 35. There we go. It's going a lot quicker now. That's a lot better. Still not as fast as I like, but it's a lot faster. Yeah, we didn't manage to feed everyone, but we got close. I think there isn't a problem in how we're doing it at the moment. And hopefully people start uh, cleaning up these trays. Polaroid, thank you. Now go away. I actually don't really like the Polaroid feature because they just sit on my map until I pick them up. Um... I, I have to keep the no visitor rooms for another 62 hours. Ugh. No kicking off. Not allowed. Okay, this is going to be yard. So, room. Yard. Yard, 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 Minimum size. There we go. Objects I would like to put in a pool table in the yard. Yes, I know it's weird. But people like it. So, nah. And it gives them recreation. And they're back-to-back, -back, so like, people can't get around them very easily. They've got phone booths in their cells, so they should be able to get phone booths from that. They've got exercise in their cells. Yeah, the only thing they need is, um, like, recreation, which they should be able to get from pool tables. Maybe we should put them in slightly better so they look better. I will put them in like that. Despite the fact it's not necessary. And I'll put a light in. And then if we go... Um, deployment. Protected only. Bam. No drugs. Not allowed. Wish we could put the punishment as like mandatory like drug program. To, like, get rehabilitated. Okay. I think we've plenty left now. We've got, like, plenty of uh, capacity in most places to be able to handle uh, more people. So I'd actually like to be able to get some monies and then put some more people in. Whoa. What? They killed the foreman? This guard's unconscious. Oh, my God. We're... we're Bang up. That means that they've got they've got keys. They killed the foreman. Hi foreman, you're our new foreman. Don't ask what happened to the previous one. Okay, you're off bang up. Whoa, I saw you with a knife. I saw you with a knife. Search prisoner, search cell just in case he drops it. And anyone nearby. Just in case I got the wrong person. Yeah, we go. Got you. Oh, I saw you pick that up. on normal mode and we will deploy a guard there. It's going to take another guard away from our normal deployment. Okay, we should be good. 
Why do we not have a guard in this area? I need a guard patrol that goes like that. Right. I wonder how many people are going to shop for class today. Hey, quite a few, including quite a lot of max sec inmates. I'm pleased with that. Especially considering one of my jobs is to get, like, people's passes. I've only got one pass out of ten. And then I've got to get a general foundation foundation course. No, no, sorry, the general education course is next. And, like, they just got to get one person past that, but no one ever wants to do it. Who beat you up? At least your unconscious is not dead. Oh, no, we beat you up because we're now searching your cell, so you did something wrong. Interesting. Very interesting. You've got a fancy face. Perjury, perjury, perjury. Possession, criminal damage. You did a lot of perjury, mate. Perjuring. That's the, uh, the term, isn't it? Perjuring. Oh, we are going down for our parole number, so maybe we don't need a second parole room. We could do some more staff to cover the amount of ground we've got, because we've, we've got a large facility for the number of people we've got. So we've got people spread out. Whoa, a second death? <gasps> Whoa, my God, you killed the dog? That's it. All, all, all staff, all staff, go, go, go. That should be staff only as well. That's that's my fault. You killed the dog. You killed the dog handler? That's it. Kill them all. Kill them all. You killed my dog handler. I was actually thinking I just needed another dog handler. You kill. Oh my god. It's all kicking off. Dog handler. I'm gonna get two more of them. How dare you. Now, the reason that I've got a uh, dog patrol here is because anyone coming out of here will get sniffed automatically. And that means every time someone goes in here, we'll find out if they've got drugs on them. Which I think is pretty good. Um, these pick up anyone trying to get out of their cells. So actually, we could probably do another dog patrol. And we've got one of the visitors lounge, which currently isn't being used because we've got no visitors. But I will hire another dog handler. It's expensive and it's cutting into our profits, but it should reduce the amount of contraband in the prison. Okay, let's look at the logistics right now for food distribution. Yeah, look at that. We're happily getting through everyone. With kind of little effort. That's everyone satisfied. Everyone, 100% supplied. I think that's a job well done. Now, question is, will we supply the normal gen pop inmates? What? You're waiting to go through normal doors when there's a staff door right next to them? I don't need the words for that. I'm going to have to change that overnight. Okay, gen pop time. There we go. They're grabbing all the food. But I think we're good. Got to pay the people who come in have got, like, contraband on them, get scanned for contraband, and like, I wanted my food. No, no, I'm locked up. I don't pity them, actually, because they had contraband, but I almost pity them. Go on, Von... Glib Horn. I don't know what your name is. Go grab the food. Good. Good man. Good man. Anyone else? Still got three demanding food. But I call that a win. I'm very pleased with this uh, working nicely now. Um, I 
Everything else is pretty hunky-dory. Overnight, we're going to switch the workshop. We're also going to switch these doors. So that they are staff only. Because idiots are trying to get through the jail door. Oh, that's a lot of tasers just given out. That's a lot of tasers just given out. I guess a lot of people just passed the taser course. Hey, I'm happy about that. Tasers are awesome. I've got the money. Just. The downside is I might not have enough money to uh, actually cover the uh, next bit that I want to do, which is expanding the workshop massively. Because workshops cost a lot of money. I mean, they are great. You get a good return on investment. But they're expensive to set up. But anyway, it's sleep time now, which means that I'm going to end this episode here. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. But until next time, stay shiny.